Previously on Gone Home. It's like a drug. The first time I was in my room in the middle of the night, I woke up and Lonnie was kissing me. Ooh. Clocks it. <laughs> oh yeah, here we go. No! And now, back to the Greenbrier residence. Oh, snap. Dude, this story, this story is so interesting. Oh my god. So I guess their parents are... Okay. They're in denial. I don't know, I mean... It is that way. I mean, I know a lot of girls sometimes go. Th they do go through like a phase where it's like that. So I, don't know, I suppose it's possible. <laughs> God, no butts in heaven. Hi, mom and dad, and Sam. That is weird. As you can see, the cathedral, the Catholic Church, lost a lot of money left over from the Middle Ages. I've got, to, I've got to see all the art, including the Sistine Chapel ceiling, the sculptures by Michelangelo, Dante, and the rest of the ninja, the rest of the Ninja Turtles. <laughs> mom, we'll have to come back together. I would love to see. Be here with someone who really appreciates the history about everything. Also, Sam, that they have various relics as in as in pieces of important dead people, so you should probably come too. Next up, Barcelona, calm down, Dad. I won't get gored by a bull, probably. Yeah, <laughs> love Katie. You know, I've actually visited the Vatican before, and it, would you believe it? Like, I, I was only there for a day, and freaking hell, the day we went it was on a Sunday, and the, apparently you can't go in this the the Sistine Chapel on Sundays. Which sort of seems like counter... I don't know, I guess they're holding mass or something, but... but I, so you, I guess you can't just sightsee, but it sort of seems like, like, would I want to go in there? Like, who, who's in there then, you know? But I couldn't I couldn't go in, so it sucked. I, I didn't get to see the freaking Sistine Chapels, which is like the, the whole thing going there. I mean, not that, I mean, the rest of the back is very nice. Also, they had toilets that were just holes in the ground, which I... She had to use at some point. That yeah, was not fun. First off, congratulations, Janice Greenbrier, original director. And I, I say congratulations because, come on, you're going to take the, take the job, right? Oh, this is about the promotion. What are you writing for? An engraved invitation? Waiting for an engraved invitation? Call him back. But in the meantime, let's discuss this little outing you have with our favorite fla uh, flannel-clad hunk. Oh, what a blast! But you sound like you're reading a lot into an innocent night out. You sure there's some? You are sure there's something there? You said he has he has an out-of-town girlfriend. You're sure they're not serious? Okay, oh, so she's feeling maybe this is something. And Okay, I... Good lord, you guys gonna need to, like, I don't know, hide the shit better. Okay? <laughs> like, I've already, like, in just, like, an hour, I've already found, like, all the family secrets. I don't know how, like, the dad didn't find this shit out. Okay, so we have to figure out... When we'll see each other next in person. Enough with letters. I owe you a congratulating, congratulatory margarita, boss lady. Soon. Oh my god. Hello, it's a little patio area. How do I get in there? There's that door there? No. Crumpled up manuscript. The excellent award. Don't give up on this, honey. Oh. Another... I guess it must be another writing from... Yeah, from Terry. Another failed writing. Must be really pissed about. Yeah. Just keeps failing. Failing and failing. Damn it all! Damn the plastic silverware and plates! Damn it all! Oh, we got another cassette thing. All right, where's the cassette? It's this one. The Accidental Savior. Another unknown dimension literature discovery. This is another. This is, oh, is this just like another version or something, maybe, with a different cover on it of his books? Like Accidental Savior, the X. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Rap Mobile, some some special. Lani. All right. Oh, some more really painful music. This one's actually kind of nice. I like this one. Yeah, 
Here, Sam schedule working in Crown Burger on Bethel Road. Uh, okay. Crown Burger? My favorite place in the world. Mr. and Mrs. Jonathan Blair requests the honor of your presence at the marriage of their daughter, Helen Margaret, to Mr. Richard Morris. Richard Morris Pattermark. Oh. This is... That's Rick, right? Richard? Rick is short for Richard, right? Sunday the 4th. Oh, so he, may, he invited her to that wedding. So I guess that means that it was serious. A serious relationship. And I didn't work out with the two of them. Actually, I actually rather like that one. I like it when it doesn't have, have a whole lot of screaming. God dang, we never have anything good to eat here. What the hell is Finest cooking cookie caramel. What the fuck is this? This looks actually kind of delicious. Can I eat this? Alright, save it for later. What's this? Freaking fish fish sticks. God dang it. Where's all the good food? Milk! Used by oh god, this <laughs> This went bad a long time ago. 1995, Jesus. Uh, I'm never opening that. Ugh, ketchup. Yeah. Ugh, this is what I think your food, mom and dad. Ugh. I'm rebelling. Ugh. So teach you how to buy 2%. Ugh. What it? Wait, what is this? American sandwich slices, mother. Freaking doodle. Ooh, a banana. Ooh. And your banana. Hello, Nicole. All her nose. Wherever it goes. The flowers of fruits. Wherever it. Shut up. Freaking banana. It's my time, banana. You don't get to talk over me. Alright, I'm putting myself in the microwave. Unless it's Tristy, must have gone out at some point. Yeah, 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 I've been dishwasher. Dude, this is so much, like, look at this interactivity, this is awesome. Give me more shit to throw. Uh, what the hell is this? Samantha and... Uh, Samantha and Dania Danielle, Danielle, yeah, Danielle, in the woods one day. It was sunny and they were on a... Uh, a adventure, but they want to went to the die bad part of the the bad part of the woods, and it got dark. Diana said, "Are we gonna? Are you scarred?" So Samantha said, "No, are you?" And they, and they, and we went more into bad part than went to bad part. Never thought before, and there was a ship, a pirate ship, on a coaching. Sam Samantha said, I'll be captive and you be the first mate. Daniel said, I captain and they went on pirate ship and started la bully bully the end of Daniel finally came over to get his game. I'd oh. been dreading it. But he brought this story with him that I wrote when we were little. Oh. I started reading it. And then there I was, crying at the kitchen table. He asked what was wrong, and I was thinking about how we used to be friends, how much I'd taken for granted. But instead, I told him about school, and Dad, and Lonnie, and then how sorry I was that I wasn't his friend anymore. He gave me a hug and said it was going to be okay. For some reason, I almost believed him. I'm gonna have friends grow apart, I guess, you know? I think we all have friends like that, you know? I had some... I had these people that, uh... lived next door to me, you know, I was friends with, and... You know, but it's like, you know, I don't really... I don't see them anymore, but, you know, it's just like... There's friends back in the old days, you know? You just kind of... kind of grow apart. And it, it can be a little sad, you know? You kind of look back and you're like, oh, I miss those... I miss those days. Congratulations on your new position. Okay, so she accepted it. Good. Receive your formal acceptance letter. I rather congratulate you on your new position. Well done. Yeah, you go, Mom. You go. More three-ring binders. What about this one? 
Yeah. We have here. Rick's uh, Rick's wedding. Oh, it is. So, oh, so he's getting he's getting married. That's can't make it send. Can't make it send. Rip. Oh, send regards. I think. Yeah, she's probably too heartbroken about that. I don't think she was starting to really dig Rick. He comes home this month. We'll call with exact date. Dentist. Okay. What is this? Like a paperback version or something? Is that? Dear Mr. Greenbrier, unknown dimension literature. First, let me say that I hope this m this missive finds you well. Hell, it feels like a goddamn miracle that it finds you at all. Do you know how long we've been trying to track you down? We're not. We aren't the Feds, the Men in Black, or any other sort of creeping fascist ho hobgoblins. In fact, we're on your side. Let me start from the beginning. I don't want to mention is what you might call a specialist publishing house. We, we. Tr oh, I see. Okay, so this is this is a. Di it's a different publishing company for us from the other one that published this book. We traffic in the weird, uh, in the weird, the ahead of its time, the lost but not forgotten, but a small but dedicated group plugged in bibli bibliophiles type of out there, mass market, mass market shunning visionary expression that refuses to be taken on anything but its own terms. Had an unparalleled run since our inception four years ago, unearthing and reviving, reviving Christ or zombie like uh, timeless works such as N.N. Bestman's *Message of the Snake Men*, *It's Inside Me* by Jens Keller, and of course, who could forget an M.L. Kreger's off-band Venusian flesh traders? Oh my God, it's my favorite story. There's we discovered the tattered copies of your accidental series at a church rummage sale in Long Branch, New Jersey. We've been trying to track down the author of this weird and dark American outsider art. It's just a kind of forgotten portal into the 20th century of civilization, civilization's anxieties and delusions that our readers lose their minds over. James Bond and Harrison Ford might be the dick swinging heroes that modern suburban Amer Americans want, but the John Russell, the John Russell, mild mannered and insurance agent by day and reckless history revising sociopath by night is the twisted peacekeeper that it deserves. It is our mission to bring him back to life. Okay, so I've typed plenty. What do we want from you? We want your permission to reprint this work since your original your original publisher, Mercury Books, folded a decade ago. We want you to supply a new foreword for the books to appear in brand new editions of the Axel Savior and the Axel Pariah to be produced by Unknown Dimensions is a limited run and marketed directly to our highly discerning customer base. And we want to offer you a portion of the proceeds contract to follow, assuming you're interested in coming along with us on this weird odyssey. We look forward to uh, embarking with you and to trusting you with uh, your work screaming back into the sweaty palms of unsuspecting American public. It's about time. Blast off. Well, good for him. That's good. God, I'm sure something he wasn't expecting to see again. It's like, wow, really? We have here. Same. Your mother and I will be away for a long weekend celebrating our anniversary, June third to the seventh. Uh, of course, in the and of course, the right before their anniversary was like Rick's wedding. So it's like, <laughs> uh, so I bet she was like, oh good, let's get married, and now I'm gonna go with my husband, who I just deeply, deeply love. We will be camping in the gorge, but we will give you a call on the way home. Sorry, the kitchen is still mid-renovation. Never trust the contractor. Forty dollars is on the table to order pizza while we're gone. Be good. Oh, I guess they're... they must be gone right now. Grab hat. Ooh. I asked Lonnie what she had to do to get ready to ship out for basic training. She said, not a lot, really. You're not allowed to bring anything with you. You have no possessions. No contact with the outside world while you're in basic. You just train hard every day, and then you deploy from there. So, they'll just send her away. To who knows where. The other side of the country. 
the other side of the world? My mind, like, can't process it. She's really going to be... No. Gone. Just gone. Crown Burger, I guess that didn't work out so well. Bonnie, my parents are leaving town, so we'll have... We'll have... We'll have the run of the whole house till you leave. I imagine actually spending the night in my room instead of sneaking up to our usual spot in the attic. Not that the attic doesn't have its musty lore, but my bedroom is warmer. Sam, we should... We should defile your parents' bed while they're gone. That'll show them. You're gross. Never change. <laughs> defiled their parents' bed. So where did they go, I wonder? So they were so they were here. They must the parents must be gone on their anniversary. Where the crap is where the crap is Sam now? Did Slenderman get her? Oh god. God, I knew it. I knew it, he's here. Freaking here, dude. You you are not kidding about the renovations in this place, good lord. I'm gonna clean this place up by the time we get back. <sighs> <sighs> Uh, uh, uh. Sorry, I get really angry when I clean. Oh, hamburger dinner. Mm, hamburger album, my favorite. Okay, and then, oh, I got my some more potato chips. And I got some tuna dinner. And what the heck it... Hippos! Oh, dude, look at him. He's a little DJ. Oh, dude, I love you, hippo. My favorite cereal. Is the rain ever gonna fucking stop? Seriously. Honey snaps. Brand fiber? No, thank you. Oh, it's closet. Read notes. Sam, the skull was the coolest thing I found in Mexico, and it was like three bucks. I love it. Merry Xmas, miss you, Bonnie. Treasure it always. Dicks. <laughs> the freshest, cleanest dicks around. Wait, what? Clean your dick with bricks. <laughs> oh, there's a note in here. Sam, I wish I knew how to explain it, but... Oh, it must have been stuck in the pants. I wish I knew how to explain it better. The army is this thing I grew up with. It's part of me. My dad's army friends are like family. I've always known... I always known it was where I had to end up. I'm not, I never thought of it any other way. I wish things could be different. Maybe someday when I'm settled at a base and you're done with college, you're and you're a famous writer, and I can rebuild a tank engine with my eyes eyes closed. Things will be different, and we can be together again. Until then, oh, oh dear, that's not good. Where, well, now this wouldn't be where the dad writes, right? No, it's a greenhouse. Cover copy. It's been almost 20 years since John Russell heard the heard the call. Twice he saved the president's life, life practically for, forgotten the days of the future in danger and excitement. The, the days where he, where he mat he mattered. So when that familiar rip in time opens in front of him and his hand and his handlers peer out, he doesn't hesitate. Is the president in danger? No, the life you saved this time. Will be your own. <laughs> That's awesome. Dear Cons, I can't tell what you tell you what a joy it is to see John Russell back in print. Thank you very much for for uh, sending along copies of the new additions to the cover art. The cover art is really aw something. I know that you said that the unknown dimension isn't in the business of printing new material, but this revived interest in my work has brought a manuscript that completes John Russell's journey, which I, I see. So, yeah, this is that would be the third book he's open to. John Russell, so, and now he's all excited, like, oh, yeah, I get to write a story again. I gotta... Now I'm gonna... Now I'm gonna make the final, tr final of the trilogy. I can 
continue with my stupid character I made back in ten years ago. Which I th my uh, Lee John's writing, which I think you might find intriguing. They're reflective and introspective without forgetting the excitement and weirdness that unknown dimension and creators expect. I hope this might be an exciting new direction for the unknown dimensions to pursue. At the very least, I am grateful that John Russell's adventures didn't come to quite to an end quite when I thought they had. Hmm, wonder what, how they feel about that. The accidental human. Dun dun dun. Strong Pines, a couple's counseling retreat in the beauty of the Columbia Gorge. Oh, this must be where they're going for their... Yep. That's for their anniversary, so... But it's, it's couples counseling, so that's sort of like... That's a nice place to have your anniversary, I guess? It's like, let's talk about how we can revive our marriage. Oh, boy. Personalized consultations with expert counselors. Plan ex groups exercise to build trust and understanding. Get away from everything and... Whatever. Shut up. Accidental pariah, full of notes. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, where we'll do it. Oh, what is this? Final preparations are complete. Secret door under the stairs. We agreed our last night together would be our happiest ever. And we'd forget tomorrow was going to come at all. We worked for a while. We had a good time seeing Oscar off. Then ran up to the attic to look through our photos. To find one for Lonnie to take with her. And looking at them, I realized they were all in the past. And there wouldn't be any more. I didn't know what I was going to do. And I cried. And she held me. She said she knew it was hard. But life would move on. I said I didn't want my life to keep moving without her. That's when she cried too. I was so exhausted. I must have fallen asleep like that. In her arms. In the morning, I woke up. And I was finally alone. Oh, this is so sad. Whoa, what the hell? Whoa, what the hell? Were they summoning a demon in here or something? Possession and exorcism. Interacting with supernatural and releasing unwanted spirits. Uh. Freaky. Shock. Name tag. Uh, new tag of Oscar. What are they? So they're trying to make Oscar move on? Because they think he's. Oh, there he is. So he can't move on, I suppose. Oh, add a key. Here we go. The sunset light in this house is the saddest thing I've ever seen. I just want to sleep. When I'm in the attic, it almost feels like Lonnie could still be here. She's just downstairs. I'm just waiting to hear her pull down the hatch and come running up. Maybe I'll go up to the attic. And wait. Is that where she is? Is she up there? No. Oh god, please don't let this end in like killing herself or something. That would be so, oh my god, that would be so depressing. Don't crush my soul, please. Hello? Strong, kick ass. And I'll always remember. What the fuck is that? Oh, there he is. So he can't move on, I suppose. I oh, add a key. Here we go. The sunset light in this house is the saddest thing I've ever seen. 
I just want to sleep. When I'm in the attic, it almost feels like Lonnie could still be here. She's just downstairs. I'm just waiting to hear her pull down the hatch and come running up. Maybe I'll go up to the attic. And wait. Is that where she is? Is she up there? No. Oh god, please don't let this end in like killing herself or something. That would be so, oh my god, that would be so depressing. Don't crush my soul, please. Hello? Oh, there he is. So he can't move on, I suppose. Oh, add a key. Here we go. The sunset light in this house is the saddest thing I've ever seen. I just want to sleep. When I'm in the attic, it almost feels like Lonnie could still be here. She's just downstairs. I'm just waiting to hear her pull down the hatch and come running up. Maybe I'll go up to the attic and wait. Is that where she is? Is she up there? No. Oh god, please don't let this end in like killing herself or something. That would be so, oh my god, that would be so depressing. Don't crush my soul, please. Hello? Strong, kick ass. And I'll always remember. What the fuck was that? Oh my god. Katie. I, I fell asleep in the attic in Lonnie in my old spot, and I missed the first two calls. I just barely caught the third one before the machine got it. And it was Lonnie on a payphone. She'd been on the bus to basic, and she said she couldn't... She couldn't think of anything but me and us. And that she couldn't go through with it. With the army and being a part and all of it. And so she got off the bus in Salem. She said, Sam, I want you to pack up everything you can and get in your car and come find me. And let's just drive until we find somewhere for us. And she asked me, if I could do that. And I said, yes. Yes. So that's where she is. Gosh. Don't go running off, girl. Mr. Photographs. I gotta stop her. Look at that, it's so sweet. Oh my god. <laughs> this game's gonna make me cry, isn't it? Read letters to Katie. Oh. Katie, I'm so sorry. That I can't be there to see you in person. That I can't tell you all this myself. But I hope as you read this journal, and you think back, that you'll understand why I had to do what I did. And that you won't be sad, and you won't hate me, and you'll just know that I am where I need to be. I love you so much, Katie. I'll see you again, someday. Love, Sam.
But the Sam and Katie were both. That girl named Sarah. Oh, two different girls named Sarah. Key there, though. I mean, come on, like, we're gonna get a job and stuff, you know? Dude, mom and dad are gonna be pissed when they get back. Well, that was Gone Home, guys. I knew it wasn't a terribly long game, so I, I thought it'd be kind of a nice thing to do in between, uh, you know, doing the Dangan Ropa and uh, Zero Escape. But it was like that during your childhood, and you think, I don't know, it, usually, like, maybe with the lack of technology and certain things, like, things were simpler, but sometimes it's not necessarily, like, necessarily like it was a bad thing, you know? It's like I look back and say, oh, I wish I had my, I wish I had, like, a really cool, I had had iPhone back in that day when I was a kid or something, but, like, no, like, I, I really liked what we had, you know? I, like, I had a big bulky phone, maybe, when I was, you know, in, like, middle school or something, you know, and the big bulky cell phones, um, you know, and, and I have the, I didn't have the super graphics of, like, a PlayStation 3, but I had my, I had my PlayStation 1, and I was, I always thought that was pretty fucking badass, I had some great games. I never got an N64, but I did play, uh, all my friends' stuff, and some of my old, some of my friends' house had, like, Super Nintendo, too, so I got to, got to play those, but, you know, and back when we had cassettes, I mean, I had cassette players in the car. My dad's old car actually had a, on a phone in it, like, built in the car. I always thought that was the coolest thing. But yeah, you know, it's, uh, it really, and I think the, the voice acting in this was so good with Sam telling her story, and, you know, I mean, and it was sort of a, sort of a sad, happy ending, like, you know, she left with Lonnie, but, uh, you know, it's like, I'm not really sure what they're gonna do. I'm, I was, I was hoping for maybe, like, I, I wasn't sure if it was gonna end with maybe what's her face going after her or like talking to the parents or something but you know I mean we learned a lot just just from looking around the house we learned so much about both the parents and also uh, the daughters you know so it's really well put together very interesting I've never played anything like this before and uh, it was definitely an experience I'm really glad I, I decided to, to give this game a try and I hope you all enjoyed watching this. I know this is very different from what I usually do, um, but I think, you know, I think it's good to mix things up sometimes. I can't, I can't you know, I, I can't, I, like, I I enjoy doing games like, you know, Danganronpa and Zero Escape. They're sort of visual novels, and I can do funny voices, but after a while, even for me, it can kind of get a little old. I need some, I need something new to spice it up, and I, I think some of you, I think you guys probably feel the same way sometimes, you know? It's good to, you know, have some new experiences, some new things, so, it may not be quite as popular as some of those other videos, but you know, um, it's still good to have, you know, and I, I, I want to try to continue to add more variety to this channel, so, um, you know, expect some other, other interesting games to play along, along the way. So, anyway, like if you enjoy this video and this, in this small series, and subscribe now and hop aboard the SLP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. Until next time, guys, stay classy.